God's not through with this yet. But for our campers who have been so beautiful, for all of you who have worked so hard, to those of you who will leave these premises and you will go to quite different circumstances than what uh, you have enjoyed here for a week. In fact, I remember so very emphatically a camp that we preached in the Michigan district. Pardon me, you won't, rem you won't mind standing for just a moment. You're not standing in honor of me. Thank you so much. But I would like for us to, for just a moment, the Michigan district had invited us to the camp. And I noticed during the camp itself that there were a couple of young people, a young lady and a young man. If, uh, <clears throat> if the altar service was going to lengthen itself, if it was going to be just a little extended, they would be the very last ones to leave. If uh, anybody was going to be praying with somebody that was seeking God, they would be the last ones around the altar. In fact, when those that were seeking had long since gone, they would uh, be still hanging around the altar. I noticed this. During the worship service, theirs would be the last hands that would, that would go down and probably the first that would be lifted. And I didn't realize the significance of it all until it was about time, oh, I suppose the last night, like we are here tonight. We were going to say our last goodbyes and bid everyone do. Someone in the service happened to make the mistake of talking to the young people in the preliminaries about going home and being a better young person to your pastor, better saint to your church. The district superintendent turned to me on the platform with tears in his eyes and said the young people, he pointed out the two that we had been watching and noticing. He said, uh, they won't get to go home to a pastor. He said, they have no pastor. He said, in fact, they won't even get to go home to a church because they live in an area that has no church. They'll just go home and live with what they have learned and gleaned this week until they can go somewhere to another rally or come back next year to a camp. Those of you who are members of great churches, you're so privileged and so fortunate. But there are those among you tonight that are not as fortunate as others. But if you would let me, let me sing to every one of you a song that I hope that you will carry with you. It simply says, When you walk through a storm Hold your head up high And don't be afraid Of the dark and that you have always had those that followed you for the loaves and the fish I know that's been your burden to have to bear ever since you walked the sandy shores of Galilee but I trust tonight that from this session with God 
there will be young people who walk with you no more for the loaves and the fishes. But they'll have a hold of a hand that's got a scar in it. They'll count it a privilege to bear the marks of identity with Calvary. Let them walk away with a love in their heart. Not for any particular reason. But let them love you just because. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. I've had some to follow me for just a night to eat. Others came in hopes that I would heal their crippled feet. When they were not hungry, they walked straight and tall. Ever met, they hardly knew me at all. Can anybody love me just because? Do you need a reason at all? I guess you never knew I cared My tears you didn't see As I cried for someone to love me Just because I'm me Just 
first love you Yes, if you need a reason Tell them I first love you If ever I have felt the Holy Ghost on the last night of a youth camp, I feel it in this one tonight. Let's lift our hands everywhere in the building. Let him have his way right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Altogether a different atmosphere than it was last night, but just as real nonetheless. To those of you that have requested it, to those of you that perhaps identify with it, to those of you that need it tonight, I'm asking Landy to sing once again, There's a Light at the End of the Darkness. God bless you. You may be... Yes, there's a light at the may be seated and now I want my little girl to come and I want her to sing for you probably unless I feel something differently the last song of our presentation for Youth Camp 80 I want her to sing a song that was the first song that I remember her singing and uh, I trust that as long as she lives in this world, this will be her testimony. Because I know of no better that she could have. Since it's so important, let me invite you, young man, young lady, to let this be your testimony also. Let it be your prayer. The title of the song is simply My Vow. Bonnie, sing it. Sins you met with me and said. 
but now I'd like to pledge you this vow I'll give you my best I really want to pass life's test All that I have I'll give to you And when my life is over And my work is complete Only then will I rest at your feet Now it's fine And then he asked me, child, what have you done with the head and proudly high, my heart racing inside, I'm going to Let me rest at your feet Now it's finally come time When his eyes they meet mine And then he asked me Child, what? What have you done? Well, with the head and proudly high, my heart racing inside. I'm going to tell him with tears. Let me rest at your feet Now it's finally come time When his eyes, they meet mine And he's gonna ask me Child, what have you done?
ask me, child, what have you done? Well, with the head held proudly high, my heart racing inside. I want to tell him with tears in my eyes. This is what I'm going to tell him. Lord, I gave you my best. Now I believe I won last chance. All that I had, I gave to you. And now that my life is all over and my work is complete, please, Jesus, let me. What have you done? Oh, and with a head and proudly What are you going to do then, young people? My heart rains. When you get there, you're not going to have time to come kneel down on the carpet around the old platform at the campground. Repent of a lot of things. You're going to have to walk away from this youth camp. You're going to have to have your bow already made. It's not going to be a judgment seat repentance. There's not going to be an altar of judgment. Your altar is here. I've got a message I wanted to preach to you. But if you can get what you need around the altar, that'll be all right with me. I don't care. But I'll tell you what. You better go ahead and get your altar experience tonight. Because judgment won't have an altar. There's no altars there. Get a hold of it, young people. Get a hold of it. Get a hold of a walk with God. Get a hold of an experience with God. Get a hold of it. Let it happen tonight. He's going to ask you, child, what have you done? What have you done with the talents I gave you? With the ability. Oh, well, brother, it's going to mean high. something to hold your head up high. My heart, my heart racing inside. inside. I'll tell him. I'm going to tell Jesus, when tears in <laughs> I gave you everything I had. Oh, I gave you my best. Lord, I gave you, I gave you my best. best. of God, ministers, evangelists, moms and dads, would you stand with us? Let's worship the Lord in the tabernacle tonight. Extend your hands, stretch them out over toward the altar, and say, God, let it happen to our church of tomorrow. Let it happen. Let them get a hold of it, God. Let them get a hold of it, God. Let them get a hold of it, God. Some of you moms and dads and pastors and evangelists may want to come up. Please like, comment, and subscribe.